Hi, in this video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to install themes and plugins directly in Plesk from the WordPress toolkit. So the first thing we're going to do is you need WordPress hosting. I use RootPal. We're going to log into the Plesk control panel. And we're going to go to the WordPress toolkit on the left hand side of the menu. And we're going to click our domain. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install a theme. So we're going to click themes and we're going to click install. And what's cool is it loads all these themes directly inside of Plesk in the WordPress toolkit, meaning we can install a theme directly from uh, here without ever having to log in a WordPress. So let's go ahead and install this theme right here. That looks like a nice theme. You can also click preview and it'll preview the theme and open it up. We're going to go ahead and install it. And just like that, it's been installed. So we're going to close that and you can enable it right here by checking this toggle where it says state. So if I ch click the state toggle right here for the Zakra theme, It'll just take a second and boom, your WordPress has changed themes and you'll be able to see it directly right here. Cool. So if we open up the website, you'll see this is the theme. It doesn't have any um, content currently on it or demo content and it's not correctly configured. Let's go ahead and just click this login button, which will automatically log us into the WordPress site. And you can see, there you go. Get started with Sakura. So if we click this, you'll be able to get started with the theme, import demo, it'll import everything you need. Um, so we can click import, click confirm. And while it's installing, you can actually check out, this is a cool theme. Look at all these um, different free. So this is another free job portal. You can build a job portal for free. Um, these other ones are premium. You can build a restaurant blog for free. You can do a lot with this theme. And uh, right now I'm importing just the main theme that it comes with, which is uh, the main website one, which looks like a SaaS. Uh, kind of theme looking or a service theme. And we're just waiting for the import to finish. So the import did fail, but there's a reason why. And if we click this link right here, it shows that this theme requires a max execution time of 360 memory limit, 256 megabytes, 20 and a post max size of 32 and an upload max file size of 32 megabytes. So if we head into our website and we go to PHP settings, you'll be able to see that we are missing some of these values. They're not the values. Uh, we need 256 um, and we need a max execution time of 360. So these values should be 360. Uh, with RootPal, you just create a ticket and our tech team should increase that for you to anything you need to install that theme. All right, so I re-clicked the import button. I updated my PHP settings. I created a support ticket and they were able to increase the PHP settings. Um, and so now we're gonna check out the website. I clicked the import button right here and it just finished, it said imported. So let's go ahead and check it out. And look at that beautiful perfect website with the theme ready to go and for me to start editing directly with Ed uh, elementor great wordpress uh building theme uh, for editing your wordpress website
So now that we have our website ready and imported with a beautiful theme, we can actually go ahead and go back to the WordPress toolkit and we can start installing plugins directly from here or we can go into you know WordPress and just install them there. Um, but the cool and great thing about the WordPress toolkit is that you can actually disable some of the plugins uh, directly from the WordPress toolkit. So let me go ahead and refresh this really quick. And it'll get your all the plugins you have. So let's say, you know, we wanted to deactivate uh, this plugin right here. We could just click it and it would deactivate. We can actually delete it as well from here. Um, I actually uninstalled that plugin already. So, you know, if we wanted to remove the Hello Dolly plugin that automatically comes on WordPress installations, we could do it right here. And boom, it's removed the plugin from the site without having to log in WordPress, which is a really great um, feature to have and to control it. And it's also great because if you have multiple WordPress installations, um, you know, I mean, you're trying to manage a bunch of plugins and you're trying to manage a bunch of themes or whatever, you can get all that information and check to see if your plugins are up to date or your themes are up to date directly on this panel. And it makes it very easy to filter, uh, sort, and just see. And you can also auto update everything. So pretty amazing to update uh, your plugins, uh, install themes, update your themes directly from the WordPress toolkit. All right, one last thing before I go uh, about the PHP settings and the theme import failing on the first try. Uh, a lot of hosting companies will not allow performance to be maxed out or the memory limit to be maxed out like this. Um, but at RuPal, we don't limit people, but we do uh, have minimum values uh, for our, our PHP settings. But we can always increase it for you um, if you create a ticket or if you have a reseller plan and you're an agency or a reseller plan on RuPal, uh, you can actually control the PHP settings without an issue. Um, this is just a security thing. Almost all hosting companies have that they won't allow you to increase it past a certain value just because of websites or people that try to exploit um, the PHP settings and time out the server and hurt a bunch of other customers on the server if it is shared. So, or stop a script, you know, if your website gets hacked, um, there'll be malware that will exploit these, these settings and um, take your website offline. So it's just a good thing to not have it super maxed out. Um, these are pretty safe values right here. Uh, so it's okay to be at this, this range, but that's it. Thank you. And Stay tuned for more WordPress Toolkit videos.